let's solve the problem number 8 and problem number 9 in this lecture and we are solving the two problems together because the two problems are based on the same data and the whole thing appeared in gate 2010 electrical paper we will first focus on the common data given and then we will solve the question number 8 and once we have the correct answer of question number 8 we will move on to question number 9 according to the common data given we are having two time domain signals ft and gt ft is having the waveform like this and gt is having the waveform like this and in question number 8 we are required to express signal gt in terms of signal ft so this question is not based on laplace transform but it is based on multiple transformations so we are required to perform multiple transformations on signal ft to get signal gt and when you compare the two waveforms you will find the duration for which ft is equal to 1 is 1 unit 1 unit or you can say 1 second and in case of signal gt the duration for which signal gt is high is 2 second so one thing is clear that we are required to perform the time scaling operation we are having signal ft initially and we will perform the time scaling operation and we will perform the time scaling by 1 by 2 we are performing the time scaling by 1 by 2 because you can see that expansion is happening and whenever there is expansion of the signal we multiply t by a number which is less than 1 but greater than minus 1 excluding 0 and here we are multiplying by 1 by 2 and we are multiplying by 1 by 2 because you can see that we need the duration double as compared to this duration I have explained all these points in great detail in the initial lectures of this course so now we will directly move on to the next step in which we will perform the another operation and this time we are going to perform the time shifting operation I will explain you why we are performing the time shifting operation after performing the time scaling operation on signal ft we will have the waveform like this this is the waveform of signal ft by 2 and we want gt which is having this waveform so it is important to shift this red waveform towards the right by 3 units so we will perform the time shifting by 3 units towards the right and therefore we will have f 1 over 2 t minus 3 now you will ask me what was the point of taking 1 by 2 outside the point was there because we are performing the transformations or you can say the operations with respect to the independent variable so if you perform the shifting operation with respect to t by 2 your answer will be wrong you will get this answer which is the wrong answer now when you open this bracket you will have f t by 2 minus 3 by 2 and this is our signal gt so option d is the correct option now we will move towards the question number 9 question number 9 is similar to the question number 4 we have already solved in question number 4 we calculated the bilateral Laplace transform using the formula we know the bilateral Laplace transform is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity 
signal ft multiplied to the integral kernel e power minus st dt. In our case, we need to find the Laplace transform of signal gt. So in place of ft, we will have gt and let's say the Laplace transform of gt is gs and we have the waveform of signal gt. It is given in the question and using this we can easily perform the integration and have gs but in this question i am going to follow an alternate method and in this method we will first try to express gt in terms of step signals so we will follow the flow of the signal initially you can see gt is equal to zero and when t is equal to three there is upward level switching therefore we will have plus because there is upward level switching u t minus 3 and if you don't understand what we are doing here then you must watch the lecture mathematical representation of signals now we will move further you can see we are having the flow like this the signal is maintained at 1 from 3 to 5 but again when t is equal to 5 there is switching and this time there is downward level switching so we have negative sign and the switching is taking place when t is equal to 5 so we have u t minus 5 so finally we are getting gt equal to u t minus 3 minus u t minus 5 and from here we can easily obtain the Laplace transform gs gt is having the Laplace transform gs which is equal to the Laplace transform of ut minus 3 minus ut minus 5 we know ut is having the Laplace transform 1 over s but here we are having t minus 3 so using the time shifting property we will have e power minus 3s multiplied to 1 over s similarly for this we will have laplace transform 1 over s multiplied to e power minus 5s now you will find no options are matching so what we will do we will take 1 over s multiplied to e power minus 3s common and inside the bracket we will have 1 minus e power minus 2s now look at option c you will find they are same so option c is the correct option for question number 9 and in this way we have easily solved the two questions which appeared in gate 2010 exam so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one